Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film a vlog. I've got a few things that I need to do so I thought you guys can come along with me. Um, we do also have a special guest today. His name is Ned and he will be joining us for the entirety of the day. Um, so what are we doing today? Today I need to clean up this pig diver house. It's absolutely filthy. Um, then I need to go to Coles and get some groceries. Then I need to walk the dogs. Hopefully if the weather holds out, it's quite cloudy outside at the moment, so we'll see. That's a maybe. Um, and then I will probably also do some admin stuff, I suppose. I've got a couple of things that I want to do. I've been planning my days out in my diary. So I've been planning out my days while in ISO because I found for the first few weeks I was literally just wasting my days. I was not making use of the time at all. And I always like to feel like I'm doing something. Otherwise, I just feel like I'm wasting time. Even if I'm just sitting on the couch watching a movie, relaxing because I've had a big day or whatever I have to be doing something I can't just sit there and watch a movie or just watch a tv show I need to be crocheting I need to be working on a new pattern I need to be doing something I don't know it's like I've got this thing I just always need to be doing something I can't sit still I also need to work on some custom orders that I have that are piling up so we'll do that as well. But at the moment, I need to go have a shower. I have strategically placed my hair like this because I'm not wearing a bra. So let's go get that sorted and then we'll start on the fun stuff. Shower tick. Now I am going to attempt to make this look respectable and maybe say ta-ta to Ned because he has outstayed his welcome. Voila! I just got a delivery um, in the mail and it's for some new clothes that I bought so I thought I could model them for you guys. It's just two pairs of pants, a pair of trackies and a pair of corduroy flares I suppose you would call them. Um, so let's do that because I'm probably going to wear the trackies today. fabric to be kind of like stiff but it is so soft and it's got like a bit of stretch in it so it really gives you a nice shape you know I'm absolutely loving them very retro chic I must say cute <laughs> These trackies are so comfy. Obviously, they're trackies, so they're meant to be comfy. But can I tell you, the trackies I have at the moment 
uh, from Kmart. I remember my mum bought them for me when I was in year nine because I was going on school camp and I still have them. They're quite a bit tighter than what they were when I first got them, but this is definitely an upgrade. They have a cuffed ankle, which I love because I hate like baggy stuff, like baggy trackies around my feet. Um, they have a cute little daisy detail. They're like a stone washed black color. I don't know if you can really tell in the video. I will get the camera and get a close up for you guys. So here's a close up of the top. This is a size eight. It fits me perfectly. I was a bit worried that they would be a bit too baggy around the crotch area, but they fit honestly perfectly. I love them. Both these pieces were from Ganda. I will leave their website down below. This is not a sponsored post, but I just thought I would share with you guys because I don't buy new clothes very often. So I thought while I've got some new clothes to show you guys, why not? Because I never buy clothes for myself. As you can tell, I've had the same pair of trackies from Kmart since year nine. I'm now 27. So how many years is that? I don't know. I'm not good at maths, but I've been out of school for 10 years and I still have the same pair of trackies I bought in year nine. Crazy. Anyway, I thought I would share with you guys my most recent clothing purchases. Um, but yeah, that's that. Let's do some cleaning. Okay, so first up is our lounge room. As you can tell, it is an absolute pigsty. Um, most of this stuff is mine, so it only seems fair that I clean it up. But this is our first job to tackle. So I just filmed a time lapse of me cleaning up my entire lounge room. And guess what? I didn't press record. So anyway, you can see the finished product. Um, as a run through of what I did, I basically obviously put everything away that was scattered all over the couch. I then dusted our TV cabinet and those shelves over there. I then vacuumed and went over the couch and rug with my pet hair remover because I absolutely can't stand pet hair. So even though my vacuum's pretty good, I always just go over my rug and my couch with the pet hair remover just to get anything that the vacuum may have missed. But now we are going to move on to the kitchen and this time I will press record. <laughs> So here's a before shot of my kitchen. As you can see, absolute pigsty, crap everywhere, dishes in the sink. Um, some cookies John made the other day. Well, when I say cookies, I mean like half a cookie. It looks like he's eaten half and then left the rest there. The stove is absolutely filthy. Ah. Anyway, let's make it clean. done thank god I hate cleaning the kitchen but it took me like next to no time at all so very much worth it um, next up is the dining area and then I think we're done for cleaning for today I think that's a pretty good effort so this is a before shot of my dining area so it's not a huge mess but I've had my sewing machine out uh, last night because my husband is a teacher and he wanted me to sew a few things for his classroom. So because I'm a lovely wife, I did that for him. 
But now I just need to pack up my sewing machine, tidy off the table, shake off the tablecloth, and then we are done with the cleaning for the day. Hallelujah. Is the dining room complete um, now that I've finished all my chores I get to go to Coles what a treat um, I don't need to do a huge shop just need to get a couple of things some dog food and some other stuff for cooking um, yeah let's do it I just remembered I had an order come in from eBay overnight so I'm just going to quickly pack that um, and then we can go. I've also run out of stamps, so we're going to have to go past the post office as well. But I'm just going to pack that order and then we shall go to the post office and to Coles. Yeah. I bought a new like mobile phone car mount the other day from Kmart and I haven't put it on yet so I thought what better time than now so I'm just gonna put this on and then we shall go I just spent so long trying to stick this on my dashboard it's a bit wet because I've wiped it but um I just realized it's meant to stick to your windscreen not your dashboard okay we're in action my phone is attached to the windscreen now we can go i swear the car ride isn't actually this bumpy it's just the thing is wobbling all over the place it looks like I'm going buddy forward driving or something. Four wheel drive. just realized I didn't actually bring the package I was meant to post so we're just gonna have to go get the stamps and then when I walk the dogs we will drop it off at the post box because there's one not too far from my house thank god One of my hidden talents is I am actually really good at reverse parking.
is it? And I think I've spoken about this before, either on Instagram or here in one of my videos. But why is it that Australia Post employees are always so miserable and so unwilling to help? Like, is it just a really bad company to work for? It's like it doesn't matter what um, branch you go into. They're always so miserable and they just, like... We were waiting there. I don't know if you could tell in the video because it's sped up, but we were waiting there and they were just walking around like we didn't even exist. Like there was a line of people and they were just not even saying, like, I understand if you're busy and you can't serve someone straight away. Like, I totally get that. Like, I've worked in retail, I've worked in customer service my whole working life. But I just don't get why you can't say, hey guys, sorry, I'm just doing this. I'll be just a minute. Like, it's not that hard. And everyone was kind of looking around as if to say like, do they realize we're here? Like, are they just ignoring us on purpose? Or like, it's just so easy to just say, hey guys, I won't be a second. Thanks for your patience. Like, I don't know. I just don't get how some people can just provide such crap customer service. Like, yeah, I know, you know, everyone has bad days and everyone's got stuff going on. I totally get that. Like, I know that. But I, as I said, I've worked in customer service my whole working life. And even on my crappiest days, I would never be that rude. Like, just to blatantly ignore people. Like, I just don't understand. But it's not like it's just a once off. Like, it happens every single time I go into the post office. And it doesn't matter which post office post office I go into it's the exact same like I just don't get it but like if any of you work for Australia Post or if you have found the same issue comment down below let me know because like I just don't understand it like why do you have to be just so rude I don't understand like I would never be that rude to someone anyway that's done the post office is done the only thing I have left on my like must do list today is walk the dogs so the rain has held off until now so hopefully it stays that way um I'm gonna go inside I will put the stamps on this parcel that I need to post I'll grab the dogs and we'll go for a walk so let's do it Every time. And now this one. Seriously? Just got back from our walk and what did I forget to take with me? That parcel that I needed to post. Ugh. Um, but that's all right. I'll go in my car later and post that. Austin's pretty happy with himself. Um, now, since I've done all my chores, I've taken the dogs for a walk, I'm gonna have some downtime. So as I said before, I am currently working on a few custom orders for a few customers. So I think I might sit down now and finish one of those off um, because they are starting to pile up and I should probably start working through those. So why don't I show you what I'm working on? So I don't usually accept custom orders purely because I don't have the time. I'm usually working full time. I've got my YouTube channel. I've got my Instagram page. I've got my business that I run. Um, so I don't usually have time to do custom orders, but because ISO, um, I've got a lot more free time on my hands these days. So I thought I would accept a few custom orders. So the one I'm working on today is actually some coasters um for a lady who ordered them for a friend so i'm gonna be ugh. i'm gonna be making some cat coasters 
So stay tuned. Once I've finished one, I will show you what it looks like. So I just finished the first coaster. This is what it's looking like so far. I still have to add a nose and whiskers um, because that's what the lady wants, but I'm going to do all them at the end. I need to make three more of these. So I'm going to go do that. Um, this concludes today's vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Um, sorry I didn't really get up to anything exciting, but that's what a vlog is, right? Just my everyday life. Um, if you did enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you're notified of my future videos. If you have any other content ideas that you would like me to film, please feel free to comment down below. I'm always open to your suggestions. Um, but in the meantime, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.